All right, doing it today. We're doing some more logs. We've still got this log split here, the Rock Venom 25, which is 25 ton, which is on the back of the Sammy. It's got three point linkage, horizontal and vertical usage. So we're making the most of it while we've got it because we've got these lovely um, softwood logs, which I love splitting, as you might know already. Not. And yeah, so we've already started filling the trailer and that is there filling up because my mum wants some logs so we're going to fill the trailer and go and deliver them so yeah a little bit of splitting now and um, then go and deliver i better start track wrap oh stop in stops in hammer away Woo! we got all these squares right because we did have some really big rings of this i think it was some sort of softwood i don't know what it is cypress maybe but this huge massive rings and we had to cut them up with a chainsaw because they would not split. So let's see if they split now. Nice. Yes. Molly's been doing dog agility all summer. Yes, Molly. Every spare moment, Molly, haven't you? You've been doing dog agility. Wally. And Peanut. Hey, Peanut. Come then. Yeah, nice one. Right, it's going for peanut now, look. What you do? Go for peanut. Yeah, nearly peanut. <laughs> right, so this is the hedge that we need to cut down. I'm not to reduce it. So I'm going to take it probably to about there, just where it cuts off, just so it's easier. Previously, we sort of stood in my little trailer behind the 135, but now we've got a man or two, haven't we? And this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to put the pallet forks onto the Manitou and then the link box on the pallet forks and strap them on so they're nice and easy. And then I can stand in there and cut the hedge really easily without any worries about how high it is. Awesome. Right, so there we go. We've taken off the sides of the hedges. Just got to the top now. Taking off the sides all the way down through there. Look. Just roughly, just for before you all turn the comments <laughs> I'm a butcher, which all right, yeah, fair enough, I probably am. But yeah, so we've just got to take our top off now. Just bring that down a little bit. Lower the height to make it easier next time. That was my dream tractor right there, Ford 7, 8, 10. Do you agree, Max? He doesn't, he's not a Ford man at all. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like him like I do, but that's my dream tractor, I've always wanted one. That's an eight tread, which is 1990. Absolute beauty. Still got a standard pipe on it. It sounds even better with a straight pipe. Do you want one, Max? <laughs> First one's out with a 135. Can't be a 135, we know that, don't we, eh? Trailer loaded right up. Oh yeah, here we go. Followed by a 30, another 35. Masiaris. And the Nuffield with a wooden cab on. Yeah, there we go. Look. I think he wants a steam engine really with a cab like that, doesn't it? Oh, traffic jam already, look. Super Major. Beautiful County 1174 there, look. That's the back shot. Perfect. T20, the pony cart behind it. All loaded up. Mother Andy and Mother. 165 Massey. Beautiful. Uh, 390. Lovely looking prime example of the tractor. Case there with Steve and Vicky in it. No doors, don't worry about that. We've got Danny there going off in his David Brown 900. Followed by his old man, David Chambrook, and his new Massey Harris. John Deere 6110. Four, four six hundred with a loader. Only loader here today, I think. That was thirty-five behind. Super major there, I think. All right. Little super Dexter. Four seven six hundred. Prime example of a tractor. Four wheel drive. Lovely machine. Two wheel drive. Six two hundred John Deere with front linkage. There are many of them around. 35. Massey 565. Little choice, eh? going across. Little Dexter going up there with a nice link box on the back. Mother and mother in the back. One of the 165s going out. Little Renault 834. Apparently, with the Renault engine in, there goes that beautiful County 1174. Look at it go. Level 35. Hello. 
2000 on the first time I've ever drove. 4110 and then the prime example of the 7810. Look at it. Look at that. Absolutely pure love on wheels that is. Case MX135. 955 XL. Listen to it. Beautiful. Nearly missed one. Got the 35X with the cab on mine. And full load up in the back on the link box. Special treatment for this one. Oh. Off they go. Get strapped in, mother. Enjoy all the track, this? Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? It's really cool. Right, I think we need to go and do some... Hedge trimming. Hedge trimming. Yeah, let's <laughs> go do some family hedge trimming. Oh, there's our hedge trimming masterpiece. Oh yeah, Manatee with the pallet forks on. And then you got the link box on the front of that and this strap down. Don't worry, Max isn't going up in there, I am. So yeah, cool. Let's go and um, trim some hedges. Right, so I'm up here, safe as a house, amazing. Right, I'll take the top of this hedge off down to about there. There you go, it's a fair bit to take off, a couple foot. So weapon of choice today is the still HSA 50 with the AK-10 battery and still smallest AK battery. And yeah, it's absolutely winning. You know, some stuff back there, which is like nearly 20 mil and it's cutting through it absolutely fine. But I can't reach that bit over there. So I've got an Ego long reach as well. So I'm just gonna grab that and use Ego as well. So I can see the other side, well happy with that. And this is the Ego, which is the original multi-tool, which I've had for longer than I've been doing videos because I bought it myself from my own company. There we go. So in one of our first videos we done, which was a Will It Start video on a tractor, probably a couple of three years ago, we um, used this to clear it underneath the tractor. Still going strong. People say the battery stuff doesn't last, eh? But yeah, no, cool. There we go. That's that bit done. It's a little bit tidying up there to do. I'll just pull off some things, but yeah, up to this bit. That's the top all done there. Doesn't look very good on camera. Actually, looks quite good in person. I'm just saying that. <laughs> There we go. Hedge reduction sorted. So just done that top through that edge as well. Getting back out of the way. Nice. Let's clear the top off now as we go back through. Right guys, so that is the hedges all done. And I'm actually filming this the weekend after we've done it. So we've done the hedges last weekend, but I've been away in Rome for three days during the week with Milwaukee. So I had a lot of other stuff to catch up on before I went and had a load of other stuff to do since I come back. So the hedges are done, well happy. The lawn has just been cut, which is great. And while I was away in Rome, I got a call from Suzanne saying, uh, Max has just fallen off his scooter while he's made a jump out of a pallet and has got shooting pains coming up his arm from his fingers. So off to A&E they went and turns out Max has actually broken his finger. So they went off to the fracture clinic on Friday and they've confirmed, yeah, he's definitely broken his finger. So now he's got a wrist strap on, which is great. But um, yeah, what can you do? Kids, eh? All good fun. But yeah, had to happen while I was away. The last thing you want to hear when you're in another country that, you know, your child has broken their, broken their finger. But there we are. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio. Bye.